Hello and welcome to my homestead. Today is December 15th. It's almost the end of the year. I want to do the final update as to what's happening both in my garden, in my greenhouses, as well as what's happening here. We're about to celebrate Christmas in a few days and then New Year. And I hope some of you will celebrate some other holidays as well. So this is my greeting from my auto household to yours. May the lights light up your life as these are symbolic to me. So let's take a look at what happened today. Here I want to show you what's still growing strong. And that's the green peas. Now after a strong freeze the pots themselves got damaged. You can see the color has changed, the texture has changed. But still, they're, they're blooming and they have young shoots. Now these young shoots are actually very tasty. You can use them in stir fries. I also have right next to them some carrots growing. This is a carrot. It's doing quite well. And there are quite a few of them in here. You can see some are bigger, some are smaller. They're sown all through, all throughout. This is a nice one. Actually, ready to be back now. So, nice carrots. Like I said, they're all throughout underneath the, the green peas. These unfortunately got fallen down from the wind. We had a really big windstorm, gale, gale storm. So, 50 60 mile winds. As well as these, these bees also fell down, but they're still growing. If I need to, I can come here and pick some fresh green peas and shoots for stir fry. In the meantime, let me show you a couple of other things that I have here. Of course, some things are hardy automatically, but everything else is dead. You can see it's dry. But sorrel is doing wonderfully. You can pick it up anytime and make some nice sorrel soup. Same with chives. Chives are hardy. They're doing very well. Alright. I have some sage here. Let me show you. As I go here. I do have some celery growing. Here's one celery bush and there are a couple of there. I have a couple of daikon. So nice daikon growing. My garlic has woken up. You can see little shoots. Some are more than others. They're more active. Even though we've had hard frost, it did not damage. It's still growing, unfortunately. I would have preferred that it formed roots. I have some broccoli heads. They're growing quite nicely. Nice strong leaves. Nice thing about growing them, them this late in the season is that there is no caterpillars to eat them. Although sometimes we still have slugs and bunnies. And I do have bunnies here. I have a few salads here. And a few salads in here as well. See, nice beautiful salad. I can come here anytime I want to and pick whenever I want lettuce. I opened up my My peppers, so 
let me show you what's going on there. I'm picking the last of the Romanian peppers. I picked some of them already, but they got hit really hard last night. Got really cold. Even though I had them under the tarp, under the plastic, I did not save them. Well, most of them did not. They still got damaged. You can see the damage on them. Some are not, some are okay, but just at about everything started getting, they got frostbite and they started spoiling. Like this is a classic frostbite. They can't, they can't survive, just too cold. The ones that are indoors in the greenhouse are okay, but out here it was just too cold for them. So, the best I can do is come out here and pick these beautiful peppers because it's only going to get worse through the winter. And even though the bushes themselves look dead, they're still, they still have the peppers on them. There are quite a few of them still here. So that's my task today, is to go through these and pick the remaining peppers. I mean, look at this beauty. It started ripening already, so they're not too far. It's a shame, it would have been a beautiful plant. Still so many peppers on it. Same thing here. Some are almost ripe and some are not too far behind. So sad. I would have preferred to have these peppers through the winter, but they just can't survive. It's too cold. I'm gonna cover the plants back again and hope that they will survive the winter and maybe start growing again in spring. But for now, I'm gonna salvage what's left of these peppers, process them, and see what we can do. I think I had a really amazing pepper harvest this year. Maybe I'll make some salsa. There are quite a few of them here still. As you can see, the bushes look almost dead, but they're not. That's a prime example of what happens when they go bad. This one is nice. It's a beautiful pepper. That's that's that chocolate pepper. So all I can do is open them up like these and slowly pick them. Oh boy. So here we are after all the peppers have been picked. As you can see there is Quite a few of them. Some are nice and ripe and quite large. And some are small, of course. But overall, that's a lot of peppers. And let me show you what's going on here in my greenhouse. You can see I have my little heater going on, so it's nice and warm in here. The plants are still surviving, if not thriving. But look at these tomatoes. Is that gorgeous or what? Look how huge it is. 
and I have two of these ripening fast. So just in time for Christmas, I'm going to have two beautiful ripened tomatoes and this one is not too far behind. It started turning color already. So I'm going to have these lovely, lovely tomatoes. In the meantime, right behind them, I have that tomato plant. It's growing nicely and it already said blooms. I do have a growing light here as you can see provides a little bit extra light. I have some sweet pepper snacking peppers here. You can see they're growing and beginning to ripen. There are quite a few of them as well. I picked most of the big ones, the, the um, Bulgarian peppers, but the snacking peppers are still growing, which is what I wanted. I wanted them for the winter. So they're doing quite well. So that's my greenhouse, at least one part of it. One thing I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and stimulate these uh, pineapples so they will grow. They're very big. You can see these are about three feet long now. More than enough lengths for them to grow and produce. They should be producing massively at this point. This is my oldest plant and it should be producing a pineapple soon. But I need to stimulate these so they can produce as well. They have a lot of new growth. Both of these are doing quite well. But again, I need to find some calcium carbide and if you take calcium carbide and wet it, 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 it produces gas, acetylene and it will stimulate these pineapples to provide actual pineapples. Now here is my papaya plant. Still not doing well, it's only producing male flowers. You can see this is a beautiful flower, it's a male flower. But I'm hoping eventually it will start producing some female and start producing actual papayas. I can't wait. So now let me transition and show you my green garden outside here. I have a lot of fava beans. My sister has requested that I plant them this year. She likes them. You can see some of them are still blooming and some of them finished blooming. They formed beans. These are a little bit later on, but the beans are there. And a few had actually formed way earlier. So we do have fava beans, they're just gonna be a little bit longer. And in between them, I have these beautiful parsnips. This I think that's what they are, or turnips. These are turnips. Uh, some are nice, getting rather large. Beautiful turnip. I've been eating them for my stir fries. So here are some more fava beans. A lot of them. I'm hoping to have a nice harvest. You can see they have form. They're just taking their sweet time growing. In the meantime, I also have my bok choy. You can see there's a lot of flowers. The flowers are edible. If I want to eat them, I can. I can throw them in just stir fry as well. But I prefer the actual bok choy. Stems. They're doing quite well. Even though we had deep frost, it didn't damage them. They're doing really well. More brassicas here doing really really well you can see they they don't they're not bothered by the cold temperature at all so going quite well I believe these are brass sprouts we have some more cabbages here
There are different varieties, cabbages, cauliflowers, Brussels sprouts, and broccoli. So here is a cauliflower. This one I don't believe it's gonna get any bigger because something ate all the, the leaves and I think that's the rabbit. But it is what it is. So, so far small, small heads, but I'm hoping they're gonna increase. At least they start a setting. So. They also have this beautiful um, It's not broccoli, it's, a, it's one of those bulbous thingies, actually quite a few of them. If I remember the name, I'll, I'll tell you. Kohlrabi. So this is, this is a kohlrabi and that one is a kohlrabi. This one, this one is green kohlrabi, the other one is purple. And quite a few kohlrabis in here, which is a good thing because I really like them. I don't like the crunchy taste and texture. So, as you can see, this the cold temperature doesn't bother them at all. They just keep going and doing quite well. Just as this cabbage is beginning to set heads. So here we are in my winter greenhouse. You can see I have another tomato plant here growing. I have some of my butternut squashes. I'm, I'm, I packed them ready to go. This is a pomelo hybrid. It's really nice and yellow now. I'm going to pick it up for, for Christmas. So right next to this pomelo, I have carambola or passion fruit. This is the smaller of the two plants. Actually, I have four of them. Sorry, not two. But you can see it's growing quite nicely. This is all young growth. Doing very well. It's very active. Tries to climb on everything. So here, as you can see, I have some growing lights going on here. I do have my lemons. I've showed you to them. I showed you them before, but what I want to show you is that they've set new growth as well as new flowers. So more lemons to come in the future. This is a nice one. The uh, oranges are not doing too well. They're not blooming nor producing. And I'm not quite sure what, why they're not happy, but they don't show any signs of dying. So here is another tomato plant. I picked a few from here a couple of days ago. You can see they're ripening. But these are smaller varieties, but very, very tasty. So. lovely tomato. Back there I have loquats. I was hoping that they would bloom this winter, this fall, but they did not. So, transitioning back here. I have my achacha. It's nice and growing quite well, but it's not happy for the winter, so it's staying in a warm place. And the big passion fruit plant, it decided to molt, so it sent a lot of leaves to dry, but it then also has a lot of young growth, so it's still nice and healthy. This is all young. I, it was transplanted a month or so ago, so maybe that's why it drops so many leaves. In the meantime, I have... And I still haven't decided if these are lemons or limes, but they are changing colors. You can see beautiful yellow color. I think these are lemons, and they're also going to bloom. 
but I do have a, quite a few of them and I'm actually going to pick some of these small ones. They're only taking the strings from the lemon itself and I'm, I, need, I need to prune that twig so it doesn't go any, any further than that. My banana plant is doing quite well as well. You can see it's on new growth. So it's, it's quite happy where it is for the winter. There is another big growth. So as long as it overwinters, that's all I needed to do. This is another orange that it's not doing well. If somebody can tell me what is happening to my leaves on the orange, please let me know as soon as possible. There are quite a few, some, some kind of deficiency, but I can't figure out why. I gave it food. It's not a, it's not a question of magnesium or iron or anything like that, but it doesn't have something. I just don't know what it is. So if you know, please let me know. So, and on that note, I'm going to say goodbye. One last look at my growing area. This is my winter orchard indoors. So I'm gonna say goodbye for the rest of this year. I hope you all have wonderful holidays with whatever you're celebrating. For me, it will be Christmas and it will be New Year. So on that note, Happy New Year to you all. And I hope that 2022 will be much better than the previous year. Thank you for joining me until next time.